very heavily muscled Oliver McCall, 29 years old, as indeed is the reigning champion Lennox Lewis from Great Britain. It's been said that Lennox Lewis really hasn't achieved the sort of popularity in this country that he would have wished for. But certainly there's no lack of support here for him tonight here in the Wembley Arena. Lennox Lewis, Lennox Claudius Lewis, born in West Ham on the 2nd of September 1965, comes in for the fourth defence of his WBC heavyweight title. The defending champion has home advantage, he's got height and reach advantage, and is unbeaten, whereas the challenger has got five defeats on his record. The referee, officially appointed by the WBC, is from Mexico, Jose Guadalupe Garcia. The first of what's scheduled for 12 rounds of World Heavyweight Championship Boxing, the WBC title, the man taller of the two, Lennox Lewis, the champion making his fourth defense of the title he won in perhaps some uh, controversial circumstances, but he's defended successfully three times, and Oliver the Atomic Bull McCall, who's in the black trunks with the gold trimmed on the side, is expected to be a very worthy challenger. Lewis coming in at exactly 17 stones, and McCall 16 and a half stones, and just about a quarter of a pound. And Lewis, some three inches taller, has a considerable reach advantage. But McCall has been in with a lot of very good opponents, including Tony Tucker, the man against whom Lewis made his very first defense in Las Vegas in May of 1993. The last time Lewis was in this ring was to defeat Gary Mason for the uh, British and European heavyweight titles. Gary Mason somewhere at ringside making his comeback and wondering will he ever get to fight at this level again and will indeed he ever get to fight Lennox Lewis. So the taller champion, Lewis, and he really needs a big win. He's not still terribly highly rated by pundits across the pond in the United States of America, whereas Oliver McCall certainly is rated as number one challenger by the three major governing bodies of world boxing. WBC, the WBA, and the IBF. And the man who was the former sparring partner for Mike Tyson, Oliver McCall, relatively unknown in this country, is expected to give Lennox Lewis a very hard fight, and if he rips in any more right hands like that to the uh, body of Lewis, then those predictions will be completely correct. Lewis tends to start very tentatively. He did just that in his last title defense against Phil Jackson in Atlantic City in May of this year before getting to grips with the challenger then and winning the fight in the eighth round. He does throw a very good right hand, Oliver McCall, and Lewis will have to watch that. He tends to drop his left occasionally. Lewis trying to work behind the jab. That's rather wild by McCall. Perhaps wishes to pressurize the champion to get the fight over with as early as possible. McCall very heavily muscled, very strong, and reckons he's in the best condition of his life. Good right hand, a good slicing right by the champion. And that's the first sign we've seen of that uh, strong punch by Lewis. Well, what an opening first round. While the Wembley Arena is by no means packed to capacity, there's a tremendous atmosphere. Well, this Lewis, uh, a little bit of um, work being done just underneath his, his left eye. Stay with your chair, up the Final instruction then to Lennox Lewis. An interesting first round with uh, both men letting a little bit go from the armory, but there's plenty more still there, one suspects. And Lewis working again behind that jab. He's got very fast hands for a big man, very athletic. Lewis unbeaten, remember, after 25 fights. Oh, he's got him. Oh, Lewis walked into a right hand, and that was the sucker punch that they worried about. And Lewis staggers, and the referee has uh, decided it's all over. 
my goodness, what an upset. And Lennox Lewis's career must now be in tatters. Oliver, the atomic bull McCall, the 29-year-old from Chicago, has stopped Lennox Lewis, the WBC heavyweight champion of the world, in the second round. McCall says, I told you so, I told you so, reminiscent of Muhammad Ali three decades ago. And Oliver McCall and his entourage cannot simply believe it themselves. It was a right hand delivered with startling ferocity and startling speed. And Lennox Lewis dropped the left almost imperceptibly and walked straight on to the classic sucker punch and look at the difference in the two corners. Lewis cannot believe it and his hopes perhaps of a unification title with Michael Moore, a rematch with Riddick Bowe and who knows Mike Tyson expected to come out of prison on a fight in the offing and Lewis simply cannot believe it because at the moment that would all seem to be completely gone. Pandemonium here in the Wembley Arena and Lennox Lewis counted out with only with less than a minute of the second round gone the crowd can't believe it it was a tremendous punch they hug and Lewis is smiling well his lip is very badly cut and that really was uh, bears testimony to what was a cracking shot and the father of six children the 29 year old from Chicago has done what nobody has ever done before and has stopped Lennox Lewis and what a time to do it the first round, I was throwing a couple of jabs, wanting him to load up with the right hand in. He saw me wanting him to load up with it. He loaded up with it one time, and I missed him with it. I skipped him, but I missed him. But then I said, okay, if I touch him up a little bit, he's going to get desperate. I knew the second round. I knew he was going to load up with the right hand, and I was practicing all day long in practice. I knew when I was going to roll the right hand, and he was going to be right on my right side. And just come through with a straight right hand, which was a picture, picture, picture.